Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about microphones and which one's the best to use with your Canon M50. Now this doesn't just apply to Canon M50s, it could apply to all DSLR cameras, um, but I was specifically asked by someone what would be the best microphone to use for the Canon M50. The camera itself does have its own inbuilt microphones, but generally they tend not to be so great. They pick up a lot of extra hiss and they can be a little bit tinny and noisy when outdoors. So not my favorite option, but if it's all you have, then they are reasonably good and you can get away with using them. At the moment, I'm recording this with a lapel microphone attached to me. This lapel microphone is a wired lapel. It was about three foot long, the wire. I've had to plug it into an extension so I can then plug it into my camera and be a bit further away. But generally, I tend to use the lapel microphone because I feel um, it offers the best quality sound in this particular environment that I'm in right now. Also like the lapel mics because it's close to me um, and it's in that sort of chest and throat area, I feel as though it actually picks up some of the bassier tones of my voice better than some of the other microphone options. This lapel microphone costs just $9.99 and I think it's well worth investing in a microphone of this price range, especially if you're on a budget because it will give you better audio and it's definitely not going to cost you the earth. It's the best priced microphone in terms of value for money and quality that I've found. I have tried some that are cheaper and they haven't lasted very long. This one I've had for some time now and it seems to be working just fine still. The clip on it is working really well. So I'll pop a link in the description to this microphone. The next microphone I'm gonna to talk to you about is the Rode VideoMic Go. This is um, a shotgun microphone made by Rode. Um, it comes with uh, the dead cat included. Um, I'm gonna switch over to the Rode Video Mic Go now, just so you can hear the difference in this environment. So this is me now using the Rode Video Mic Go. I've still actually got the dead cat on here. Didn't really need that indoors. Um, but I've got the Rode Video Mic on the camera now. I'm roughly about two feet away from the camera. So this gives you some kind of idea of how it performs. When I'm out vlogging um, and I'm out and about, this is the microphone that I generally tend to use. It's very good outdoors and the dead cat does a great job of blocking out a lot of the external noise, hiss and wind. When you're holding the camera, doing a vlog situation, you're probably going to be much closer to the camera than I am right now and it will give you much better audio than it is probably giving you right this second. If you're wearing headphones to watch this video, you'll probably notice the biggest difference when we switch over to the next microphone, which is the inbuilt mic of the camera itself. So this is the inbuilt microphones in the camera. I'm still the same distance away as I was with the lapel mic and the Rode video mic go. I haven't moved. And this will give you an idea of how the camera's microphones itself picks things up. Now, I should point out, I am in a room where I've got some soundproofing behind me, behind the green screen. I've got two softbox lights either side of me here. So I have got some noise deflection. If you're gonna be in a bigger, more wide open room, you may find that you get a little bit more echo and the quality is a little bit more tinny than it is right now. The other thing that you're probably picking up if you're wearing headphones is you'll be able to hear more hiss in the background than you could previously. Um, and that'll be really evident when I switch back in a moment to the lapel mic. So I'm back on the lapel mic now, and I think having switched from the inbuilt microphones back to the lapel, that's gonna probably show you the biggest difference in audio quality. And um, hopefully you can see the difference between the three of them, and that should give you an idea. Uh, I'll put links in the descriptions to the camera, the microphone, and the lapel microphone, and guys, let me know what you think. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or want to ask anything about any of the mics or the camera itself, just give me a shout and I'll be more than happy to try and answer your questions.